Okay, hello dear friends. So today I was uh, helping, working with one student on some simple arithmetic is a subtraction. And uh, and as I was doing, because we, we, we do it, we, we already do not need to think what is the method to, to do it. We just get the answer, right? Because uh, our brain is already developed in such a, a level that we do not need to, to, to explain it. And then today I was trying to explain it and found it. Uh, it's actually quite uh, interesting. And, uh, and it's kind of addicting. So I will just uh, randomly choose a number. One, two, four, five, two, minus... Uh, eight, seven, nine, six, because we want to use the method of borrow. How do we explain the bor the borrow? Okay, how do we explain the borrow? So we we do from the very right side, from the place value, the smallest place value. The ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, from smaller to large, to 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 big. Okay, two minus six. No, you cannot do it because two is smaller. We are not yet learning about negative number. Two is smaller than six, so we need to go ahead to borrow, and we borrow ten from. The one before it, so it becomes 12. We borrow 10 from 5, we borrow 10 from 5, 5 from this one is actually 50, right? We borrow 10 from the the the, the tenth value of 5, then the tenth value of 5 have only 4 left because there was one goes to one level down it's downgraded from alpha to beta okay yeah you 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 know what i'm talking about 12 minus 6 can we do it yes 12 is bigger than 6 so 12 minus 6 is 6 now we need to do 4 minus 9 4 is smaller than 9 so we cannot do it we need to go ahead to borrow and we go one step further here, from here, borrow 10. And if we want to borrow 10, here we need to give 10. And 4 gives 1 tenth away, become 1 3. Okay? So 14 minus 9 is 5. We can do it. Now we need to 3 minus 7. 3 is too small. We need to borrow again. We borrow 1. So 2 borrow. 2 give 1 out becomes 1. 13 minus 7 is 6. 1 minus 8 is still too small. We need to borrow. Borrow 1. This one becomes 0. And here becomes 11. 11 minus 8 becomes 3. So the answer is three, six, five, six. So this is the method of doing it. Now we will do another method. Okay. This question, we will do something that we all know. But how we explain it? Ten thousand. So this is ge shi bai jie wan. Ten thousand minus one. We know it's 9,999, right? But how do we get it? So, we have 10,000. And we will do from the very right, step by step. Here, on these ones, we have a zero. Zero minus one. Zero is smaller than one. We cannot do it. So we need to go ahead to borrow. We go one step further. Oh, oh. It is zero. They have no money. They cannot give us. Okay. And then we need to go even further. Go to the next door. We go to our close neighbor. The close neighbor does not have. We go one further. Oh, 
that neighbor a little bit further away neighbor still does not have we need to go one further still it does not have and then we keep on working oh this guy has one so we can borrow one from here so it becomes nine 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 plus time ten so what does it mean if we see the place value this is nine thousand nine hundred ninety and ten each of these is one place value nine thousand nine hundred ninety plus ten and together it makes ten thousand right and this way we can start to do the the the, the subtraction 10 minus 1 is 9. 9, nothing below it. It just copy it. 9, 9, 9. Do I make sense? So we just need to keep on borrow, borrow, borrow until we get that, get that money we need. Okay, this one we will do the number a little bit more interesting. One zero zero two one zero minus eight nine seven two eight. Ooh, ooh. Zero minus eight. Oh oh, not enough. So we need to go ahead to borrow. We borrow from one, one becomes zero, and this zero in ones becomes ten, right? Ten minus eight is two. Good. We can do it. Okay, now the next one is zero minus two. Oh, oh, zero is smaller than two, so we cannot do it. We still need to borrow. We borrow one, becomes one, ten. One, and ten. Ten minus two is eight. We can do it. How good we are. Now, we are going to do the, the hundreds. One, two, three, the third one. Okay, one minus seven. One is smaller than seven. We cannot do it. We need to go ahead to borrow. And it does not have. There is nothing for us. We need to go to the next door. There is still nothing for us. We go to even next door. Oh, we can borrow. And it lends us, lends us one, but this one becomes nine, nine, and eleven. Okay, so eleven minus seven is four. Nine minus nine is zero. Nine minus eight is one. So the result is one, zero, four, eight, two. Let's do another uh, zero one. One, two, zero, 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 five minus nine, two, eight, seven, eight. 5 minus 8, no, go ahead, borrow, uh, 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 uh. 1, 9, 9, 9, 15, 15 minus 1 is 7, 9 minus 6 is, 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9, 2, 7, 1, still, oh, zero. 11 minus 9 is 2. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we can just uh, do like this. Let me continue to do something without even talking. You can hear the pen sound. more distance. 